much glue in the end of this tour now, or would you sum it up? I think it's been outstanding. I think the, the lads have been a credit to, the, to themselves and to the clubs and to, and to the, you know, the game in the UK. I think they've uh, on and off the field. You know, you see all the stuff we, we've done around the community and, and buying into the PNG culture. I think the, the lads have been exemplary. Some of them experiences, certainly like the Gabba Gabba village, you just see how happy these kids are and you know, they, they've got next to nothing. Um, they're just, you know, they're real tight knit communities. It's great to see, you know, it's, it's very, very humbling and it makes you realise, you know, what you've got at home as well and, and what you really should appreciate. Yeah, I've been dead lucky, Jamie, in, in my rugby league coaching career. I've, I've coached the three World Cups, and th this is something very different. That it's a it's a development tour uh, to be able to provide opportunity for players to experience an international setting, knowing that we want to groom these boys to be England internationals in three years' time. And I think this trip has certainly delivered that. There was a great story last week up in Ley when we, were, we visited a school and someone asked a question specifically to Dean Hadley and it turned out this young young man he was a Hull FC fan he played loose forward for his school team and his favourite player was Dean Hadley and what's the chances that Dean's going to turn up in his school it is very remote and you know it was a great great rugby league moment for that, that young man that we gave him that great experience of, uh, of, of, his, of his idol being in the school this rugby league fanatical place that we're in Papua New Guinea these kids have got nothing you know, they're going to school in bare feet and flip flops. Places in, up in certainly up in Ley, you know, they don't have running water and electricity in their homes. I said you here. Yeah. 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 Right, uh, just done our training today, fellas. It'll be exact same session as what we did last week. You'll be with Adam and uh, Jamie for a few minutes. Come to us, we'll have the Yorkshire v Lancashire 3v2v1 three, three, again. We'll make it a bit bigger so we can actually give Lancashire a chance. All right. Left on right, exactly the same. Three plays, transition, three plays, transition. That's that. We'll give you eight sets then, then the yours, Jack. Just one thing for me. Everything we've done over the last two days, I think, has been outstanding. It's a credit to you again on your, your aptitude and your willingness to just embrace what we're here for, yeah? But there's another thing we're here for as well. This is this outside, what you're good at. This football is what you are here for at the end of the day. You're here to win two games. So our execution, all right, and our talk is all I'm looking for out here. It's all I want from this. We need to switch, get our football heads on and get ready to go be a good team. Make sense? Yep, let's get out there. I said, Maxim, hey, use your arms, reach it up. Okay, three of them, please. Once you've done that, boys, go and get a water in the shade over there, and then you're with the coaches for rest. Let's run to it, eh? Yorkshire, make a decision on the way across. Oh, it's already been made. Lancashire, Lancashire are defending. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yorkshire won, mate. <laughs> didn't. We, we picked defence anyway. Reigning champions. We'd already sorted it. Yorkshire attack. Lanks defend. Paul, I've been uh, inspired, I think, when I've walked around that pitch at Port Moresby. I'm, I'm quite impressed, the Oil Search Stadium. You got your boots? I, uh, I did bring my boots with me. Uh, unfortunately, not quite made it. You know, <laughs> Dean Ladley went home. Harvey Levitt looked like Edna Leary for a little while, and uh, I thought I might get me a chance. But it, what it has done, it, it's reminded me of the opportunities that I've had throughout my career, some of the special places that I have played. And, uh, rather than it being a negative, I've seen it as a real positive. You know, the pitch yesterday in Gabba Gabba reminded me of when I played in, in Fiji when I was on this very similar tour in my era. Um, but those experiences are so important and the boys probably don't realise it now, but these are experiences that, that they need to cherish and I think will actually be the building blocks for the rest of their career. I think some, you, you, we spoke about this yesterday when you talked about uh, when you, you showed all the pictures to, to staff and things like that about when you were... Uh, a little bit more air and you feel scars and wrinkles on you but uh, when you went to Fiji as a young lad and the people that were on that trip with you and have all gone on to, to become genuine superstars of our game in the past along with yourself and uh, I think one of the things is is do you think that trip had a defining part in your career and it made you humble for and make you appreciate what the things that you, you've, you've had and what you've got 
because you talked about the, the field was exactly the same type of field that you played on in Fiji and stuff like that. And our boys didn't play on it, they just walked on it yesterday. I was talking to Cruz Lehman, obviously I worked with Cruz at Huddersfield and Huddersfield in the past have not had the best facilities and I said to him, I said, I bet you're bet you thankful for Leeds Road in Huddersfield now, aren't you? And he's like, yeah, mate, this is class now compared to this. So if that's one thing that Cruz takes away from this in regards to something that he took for granted, that which is not probably a great standard and whatever, yeah. now he thinks that's, he doesn't need to worry about that because if he's got the right attitude, he can become whatever he wants to be, regardless of what sort of field he plays on. Come on, Lanks. Oh, forward yes. pass, forward pass. 2-0. Oh, yeah. like 1-0. 1. Forward pass, I'm the ref. Yo, oh. Yes! <laughs> hey, there's nothing in the rules, you know, you put it down. Three from eight. Three from eight, come on. Come on, Lanks, just get one. Who's the winner? Go get a drink, boys. Go get a drink. You know, obviously players have come here to win. You know, we're one 0 up and we want to go two 0 That was the, the ambition from the start. You know, it is a an England development group in regards to you know being the next international England senior players. But there's no doubt that you know these players and other staff want to win. Three. All right, Dad, good work. Line, play. Fellas, jog for a drink, please. Jog for a drink. Let's reset and come back. Let's go. You know, I think we've got we've got the best game in the world for that. For the cultures and the friendships and just the respect throughout the game. And and that's certainly something that, you know, these players will, will never forget. And we've just seen the boys there have a session. Last session, biggest one really, sometimes team run all that's what we can make it to be. A few errors down and the way that they dealt with it was getting Tom Lynham to deal with the joke. I think that that just sums up where this group's been. Yeah, I think they're a real, you know, to say they've only been together three weeks and a lot of the guys didn't know each other when we when we got together. I think that was the, the positives of, of doing the KPS stuff through the year as well. You know, for the lads to break bread really and, and, and get to know each other. Yeah, Tom Lynham's a star and he's, uh, he's put us, uh, he's, he's given a few good sales all the way through the camp, you know, and certainly with the, uh, with the school kids and what have you. Uh, he's entertained and, and sometimes, like you say, you can overthink the rugby side of it as well. You know, there were a few errors in the session, you know, make it a bit light-hearted and then get back to business and, and the boys finish the session great. Saying them to deck on that right side, I like the change of angles and stuff like that. Yeah. And the other thing from you boys as well is there's going to be a period where instead of just playing the UB up, you've just got to hit you to break them down to build pressure and kick up back of them and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, so everything we do is real. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy it as well. When everything's going well and you enjoy it, if you're doing yeah. that, it's f***ing it. Who? Who? He's gone, he's not playing, six. It's changed. It's changed, yeah, he's been dropped. Kyle Labour or something. Uh, that's a fair, fair result for us. Who's fucking running for Couple of things for you from me. All right. 
After the game last week, the referee got two things into us. One was foot on ball, and the other was back foot with, our, with the line, get on side. We give penalties away from that after being drilled about it all week. Coach, right, with the ball for us, remember our yardage? All right, you backfield, what's your role, Tommy? On the kick? Beautiful, all back three was turn. Transitions off back a bit, let's attack straight away. Good ball. I don't want to change anything that we're doing. The only thing I want us to do is be patient. I don't care about points at the minute. I want us to build the pressure because they cannot do what you did. The number one thing I want you to think about is what we spoke about last night, is the shirt that you're wearing. The shirt that you're wearing, some of, some of us, it might be our pinnacle. It might be me done as a coach, I don't know. The history of the Knights is it's never been beat. So the history from you, this group from last week is you don't know when you beat, which is a good trait of the Knights. Just make sure you stay nice and relaxed. Make sure you enjoy this, because that's the number one thing more than anything. We've had a good week, we've had some eye-opening seeing things and stuff like that. My own thing I always finish with is a way to celebrate all small victories, because that out infuses them then. Make sense? Kick long, chase hard, all the usual that we all do. It's simple. Higher up the tree you get, the simpler it becomes. Run hard, tackle hard, the rest will come off it. Last thing from me, fellas, you've been a joy to coach for, and the rest of the boys are not in this room. We've been a coach, joy to coach now for just over two weeks. Let's not ruin things now. Make sure we leave everything out there today. Make sense? Let's get ready. Yeah. Yeah. the throat of Le Bart and he sends Meninga. Met by a wall of English defense on the 15. And Stanton Albert now. Will take the tackle and Atkin puts it on the boot. Was it touched? By the Knights, it has, so it'll be a 20 meter restart. Coming in for a run, Stanton Albert, good run, and off to Watson Boas. They got the numbers, Nitsch and Foot, he has the fullback to beat. As Lincoln plays in the English now, trying to, oh, that tackle. Here it is, Carl. Almost Butterfield now. Gives it to Lebat, Lebat, short pass. But, uh, oh, and the English are away. Knights are away. Lebat, bleeding from one end, running away from the other. Kumu's line. Kick looks too big. Yep. Oletsky, that's a mouthful, he'll play it. And Captain now going for a run. Lovely footwork. Jack Hughes showing his footwork. Good tackle, Brendan Nemoff. And oh, what a try! <laughs> so, great try. And he raises the kick. flags. <laughs> He'll now play it on the 20. It's, oh, that tackle looked a bit high. The referee is happy with it and lost it in the end. As Ash Handley, manhandled by yeah, Nana yeah. McDonald, Patton gives it to this big number eight, Ol Oletsky. 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 We'll just keep it short, call him Oli. Uh, the captain gives it to his number six, who puts out a long pass and a great try from Tom Davis from his previous attempt but on a different angle, and he presses it. They got numbers on the short side, but they go to the open side. And oh, mm, big hit. All right. And letting them run on. And Donald, Donald. Stop, Jack, you fucking cock. You got it, Frank. Hey, but he's taken out of it. Good run from him. Butterfield now to Watson. Watson to put, put away. 
foot will be over. And he puts it straight under the upright. So a good pressure. He raises his leg, so the crowd even more happy now. Well done, that was King. He came away with the ball, and the English boys survived that raiding attack from the ball. Oh. Here we are, here we are. All right, oh, okay, they go wide, and they keep the ball alive. They've got Ash Handley in the open space. He gives it back to Jack Walker. What a try, England Knights. Yeah, that was well crafted down the blind side there. Or should, should I say the short side? They had a set play, and they've scored a lovely try from there. The English team strikes back. Well, I'm going to play it on the 10. Powell to Captain Hughes. Hughes. Short pass to Philbin, but Philbin unable to gain possession. I said, boys, to Nixon, good, Nixon, good. Great run. That's what they need. That's what the crowd wants. It's coming on. The butt, oh, Watson does a kick. He's chasing. It's over. And a good chicken chase for Watson, boys. Good set to Nene. Nene had a flying all out. But Nene took on the line almost over. Let's okay, see if they can do the same the thing. Tap. Trick That's shot, all I'm trying here. There we go. Justin Olam on the halftime hooter. The Kumuls are in. That was a well worked try. That's all right. it, boss. All good. You got for me. I'll make it. It's worse on our right side. After a bit of contact. No? Good. Deck. All right. Come into your body movements, mate. There's times when you're about five meters offside on tackles two and three. Move quicker. If it costs us, I'll go. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. One of the things I'll say to you, right, is right edge. Sort your. Out, all right, two tackles for two tries. All right, got that middle, sort your contacts out, hit hard, and fucking rub the fucking heads back. And they will not think about fucking offloads. You middles here, we've only made three changes there. All right, so you need to go balls out. We're receiving, are we? Yeah, and before that, you sort that out, and then the process means you get on your fucking bike, get back, and do the fucking thing again. Make sense? Because this is a tough half of rugby league football coming up here, of international football, of high standard, high energy, high ability football. We go out there with the mentality of building pressure, kick on four if we have to, put the thing on the floor because the wind's going all over the place. When you're playing, you're playing, you're doing well. Yeah, would you agree? You're causing a load of problems. But pressure means death, not always throwing the long one. Harvey, hit Matt, hit him on a short pass. To them, you just roll down the outside and fucking roll the thing in goal. Fucking in goals is bigger than fucking Scully's backyard, and that's fucking massive. All right? What does that look like? That pressure, building pressure, what does it look like? Just rolling the ball in goal. Run the line, whether it's in goal or short. There's times where you, we, we can play nine fusions and stuff. Just hit the lead nine that we're just setting the kick up. All right? Don't always have to be out the back, out the back, out the back. Tackle on sideline to kick. All right? Be careful with that long one because it might at some point. Makes you play what you're doing. All right? On that left side to kick as well. You've got Arby there, so you can go wide to Arby to wide, which brings the winger up and just get into Prodigy down there. But I just said, every time we're coming back from kicks, we're talking the right talk. Everybody knows what we've got to do. We're all talking it. We've got to carry it out. And it's you as individuals that are controlling that. Do not waste this opportunity. You play some good football. You've had some good two and a half weeks while we've been here. All right? We do not spoil it by getting sloppy. You all know exactly every one of you. Every one of you and everybody's staff know their jobs. All right? If I'm not doing mine, tell me. You do your job, you hit hard, you run hard, and you sort your day out. Hey, I've got a point for you here, okay? As the referee's coming off, I've given it him because of tens. All right? They're fing disgraceful where they're in front. So you need to be squeaky clean now. He's going to fing look to penalise somebody here. All right? Make sure it's not us. We've got five minutes here, Think about the way we started last week, that first ten minutes. Now, on the positive side of this, you're 18 12 up. So imagine if we had done all these things, how f***ing you'd be now, eh? Do not waste this opportunity. 2-0 is what we're looking for. As Nana McDonald sets us off, 
for the second half of this match and are flying together now here we are joe right. filburn he does give it to nene nene pushes away and then shows it but decides to go with the tackle good yards from the kumuls inches mcdonald from dummy half watson to Asse. Asse shows it takes it on the line is it over Ref's looking. So the touch he says it's your call, referee. The referee points to the spot. They went silent in the first 20 of the first half. Into dummy. Nen is on the fringes. Nen is looking for work. He just walked almost. Strides over one player, but eventually tackled. That's it. What's it actually? From dummy half. They set up to the left. They come to the left, Asse, good kick from him. You've got put and there's a step up, and oh, David Mead. David Mead punches on a mistake. Strikes it, and the crowd likes it, the flags go up. Kumos go up by six points, 24 points to 18. Leibard puts it on the boot. Jack Walker is under it. Nixon Pope is over it. Menenga picks it up, and guess who's there? Oh, so close. <laughs> and Whiteley. It's actually limit. We play the ball. Put it back into the 30. Good tackle. And a tap. Great post contact meters. Oh, big one. In a fucking. In a fucking. He's off. Jack Walker able to the task. Runs it back. It's a loose ball. Oh, would that be a penalty? And there's a scuffle. There's a scuffle in that. Scuffle's players not happy. I think it was Davis. Yeah, he Nene's all lined up. On the right, man is coming in for it. Then is going to get the try. Like what? Beautiful kick. Then in the tunnel. Beautiful touch. And it's try time for the BMG Kubo. Davis doing well, yes. For the England Knights. As King. Strong run from him. Oh, and he lost the ball. I think that's on a pushy shove in there. Between Walker to Powell. Powell to Matthew Lees, driven back, strong defense, for forcing an error. So the Kumuls, boys. <laughs> yeah, he had the fish ready. Wellington Albert now. He'll be loved by the opposition. Yeah, he's going to tag it off his back. Look at him, there's four of them, five of them. Five of them coming up on him. And he plays the ball to mark up on the English opponents as Davis.
and the Cummels. We stuck at it and it did get pretty fierce. Got pretty heated at, at times, as it does, as, as international rugby does. Um, but yeah, it was, it was re really hard to take that. It was a difficult one. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure playing with these, this group of people, for the, all the players, all the staff. It's been a really good tour. So it would be, have been perfect to cap it off with two wins. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. But you know, it's been a great experience and, and we've made plenty of fantastic memories. When Paul told me that I was coming, you know, I wanted to grab a both hands and put 110 percent into everything that I did, and you know, hopefully I've done that. And uh, you know, I've really enjoyed my time here with the boys, and you know, with all the coaches and staff. I just want to say a big thank you to them. Yeah, it's, it's been a great experience, and obviously meeting some some great lads. Um, and I'd say I'd say I've made some friends for life really. And um, yeah, like I say, it's, it's, it's disappointing to finish on 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 a, on a loss, um, but. Um, like, like I said, it's, it's a great experience and um, looking forward to, to the next one. It's been a pleasure being here with uh, with the boys for just short three weeks now. So when, when you get into tough times like that, you know, as, as a group, as close as we've become, um, ultimately it's, it's about an experience, young lads coming out to PNG, something that, you know, nobody's done for a, a very long time. And um, it's going to be an experience that I'll never forget. And I doubt either of the boys will. We've got, we've got competitors in our group. We just need to sort our smarts out and uh, that'll happen. The more, more we do this, the more we can expose, expose our players to these uh, environments in like Ley and the and rest of Papua New Guinea and Port Moresby. It's, uh, yeah, the more we can do that, the better our players will be. But you know what we got from it? What we wanted, it's, it's a learning curve. It's, it's an experience for these boys and they know the, the standards that they've, they've, they've got to reach and, and got to improve on you know, in their own games and you know, that'll make them better players. You know, lads will look back at this, and you know, we'll, we'll we'll look back at the games, and and they'll be obviously they'll be better players and better people certainly for this tour. The last two weeks for me has been probably the two best weeks in my career as uh, as a coach. It's uh, we had some highs and had some lows, but in regards, in regards to enjoyment levels, it's uh, it's right up there. So we talked about players uh, getting the life experience, and I know for a fact that. I'm 30 something year old Jonesy and I'm, uh, I'm happy with the last two weeks in regards to my experience. Just when we've done this, all right, I'll, grab it. I'll literally be 60 seconds once, once Ash is ready. Just want to throw a pair of shorts on, we've been invited next door, all right, for a beer. Let's do that, let's spend some time with them, all right. It's David and me's birthday, he's 30 tomorrow, so we'll, uh, we'll go in there and just have a beer with them. Just in the, in the bigger picture stuff, boys, uh, from my perspective, I hope I've given the opportunity. All right, I think we've created a decent uh, environment. I think we've done all right there. Uh, and if this is your last opportunity with the Knights, and I'm hoping a lot more of you do push on and be seen into the seniors. Uh, remember the legacy. We talked about that, uh, leaving the Knights, leaving that shirt in a better place, didn't we? Yeah, so good luck to everybody in this room. We've not only posting uh, international football, but just in your uh, in your domestic games as well because you shouldn't be happy with being here. You shouldn't be happy be playing in the night. You should be wanting to play in that senior team. Make sense? So congratulations uh, in regards to the way you've been. All right, today's not to be, but there's a bigger picture to this. Just on uh, this player's player, this has come from you. You've voted this, all right? Now the bloke who's won this knows exactly what I think about him as a player and as a person. All right, and he's swept this away. So congratulations, Jack. Players, players. Uh, thanks, boys. Uh, you know, as, as Billy said, disappointed with the result today, but you know we came here to, to test ourselves as individuals and, and make some memories. You know, and I'm, I'm going on with some great memories with you, boys. So thank you. We're all good. Let's go have a beer with these boys, eh? Let's go. So what did we learn? Dare I say that some things in life are more important than winning. Relationships that are forged, for example, in the pursuit of being the best version of yourself, galvanised through hardship and new experiences. I can say this, that for me, Watching these boys strive, inspire, change lives in this extraordinary country has been one of the highlights of my rugby league career. I'm Jamie Jones Buchanan and this has been a trip of a lifetime.